Hey family, we're back inside the maze with another dose of the Critical Breakdown. You already know it's your girl, Ms. Mo Phila, but I know y'all know this face that is thin next to, or sitting next to me right now. If you don't know the face just yet, I'm sure you're gonna know the brand. Everybody gotta eat, man. This is the face, the founder. What is it, co-founder or founder? founder? Founder of Everybody Gotta Eat. The one and only, I call him Manny, but you might know him by a bunch of different names. Yeah, yeah. too many names. Yeah, too many names. <laughs> but listen, we're gonna talk all about all the different names and all the different facets of what you bring to the table, man. It's the Critical Breakdown. We're gonna get straight to it. <laughs> Now listen, Manny, Blaze, all of the above, right? Um, can you tell us the story? Because I feel like for me being in Boston my whole life, I just woke up one day and all of a sudden I started seeing everybody gotta eat everywhere. Now that I know that's not your actual story though, right? No. Um, can you tell us how did we come up with the concept of everybody gotta eat? So I've always been a foodie, mm -hmm. you know, a little greedy dude. <laughs> you know, going to mom's after she's cooking and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. So um, I always had a passion for food, but as far as everybody got to eat, um, it was a saying we always used to say, Facts. you know what I mean? And um, so I can't even remember like how long, but we've been saying it for so long. So mm -hmm. um, I said, when I start my food blog and my food show, I'm gonna call it everybody got to eat. Mm -hmm. So. Um, one day my boy put, picks me up. He's like, let's go eat. Mm -hmm. We're in the Ro Rolls Royce Ghost. Okay, okay. Um, Real fancy with us. it. We picked up my man, <laughs> Chef um, Chef Chef Jones, and um, my man, Dumas, and um, we go to a spot in the North End. Okay. And we go to this restaurant. I forgot the name of it. And uh, we go upstairs. This girl's making drinks, and she says she has a food blog. Mm -hmm. She shows me her food blog. I look at it that night. Mm -hmm. I stayed up all night, uploaded all my videos smart. and stuff, and uh, everybody got even born. Mm, that is so smart. I love that innovation where you're like, wait a minute, let me take something I love to do on a regular basis and actually make some legit content out of it. And you're right, that is how I got introduced to Everybody Gotta Eat. You were doing reviews of different yeah. restaurants in the area. And then how did we expand to what we see now? Because listen, whether you're a celebrity, anybody, Joe Schmo, there's no way you're walking through the New England area and not hearing about everybody got to eat. Like, um, honestly, it happened organically. Yeah. People just started calling me for food. You know, mm -hmm. Bia comes into town, Millie's coming to town. Um, shout out to DJ E Double 94.5. Yeah. Anytime an artist comes into town, he's like, yo, That's I need food. So it started like that. Um, people just calling me for food. And obviously, I'm doing the food blog, mm -hmm. I'm doing um, the festivals, the mm -hmm. barbecues and stuff like that. So naturally people are like, he knows how to find the food. Got you. Know you. I mean? so, then my phone started ringing. You know okay. So, Cause I was gonna ask that. Cause I was gonna ask, how did we transition to, from reviewing food and restaurants to now you're providing food to others? People just started calling me. I don't <laughs> even know. And, and honestly, I think it took off um, a little after my mother passed. Okay. And um, you know, I was in like, a space where I'm like just trying to figure it out and, mm. uh, and my phone start ringing. You know, I'm gonna get into that just a little bit yeah. if you don't mind. No, that's all good. Um, can we talk about just how that, sometimes you gotta have like a catalyst moment in your life to really push yourself in the direction where you need to go. Yeah. You would say that losing your mother was that catalyst uh, for that you? That was real. Yeah. Um, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm used to a different lifestyle, you know yeah. what I'm saying? So I had to sit back and just, you know, think and, uh, really follow my heart you know? mm, so okay. the food is where my heart is you know what I'm saying that's what makes like I don't feel like I'm working you know mm -hmm. when they say if you do what you love you don't feel like you're working absolutely so every day I wake up I feel like I'm just chilling you know yeah what I'm okay so, okay uh, you know we still gotta go hard still make sure uh, we stand on business you know <laughs> okay standing on business yeah, <laughs> I like the tag I like business, the tag yeah. now I was had the I can't even speak but I had the privilege of attending your more recent because you've had so many events since then <laughs> the more recent yeah. event the entrepreneur mixer because I had to make sure I said that right out in um I, I, Candlelight, Cambridge, Squid, Starlight, Cambridge, Starlight. Yeah, Starlight. I'm like, it's not yeah. Candlelight. Out in Cambridge, Starlight. Um, and that was such a fire event and concept. Um, the team came together, brought out a whole bunch of black and brown entrepreneurs yeah. and business people where we had to save space to really be ourselves, but also handle business and network. Oh, that was beautiful. And uh, I also got to taste the Diddy Burger for oh, the first man. time. Listen, can we get into this? Because the way the Diddy Burger has taken on its own entity 
underneath everybody got to eat. What's the deal? I, I mean, I've tasted <laughs> it. I know the hype. I had the lamb one. If you ain't had the lamb the, one, what are Lambo, we talking about? The Lambo. No, the Lambo. Excuse me, so get yeah. the title right. I had the Lambo. If you didn't try the Lambo yet, I don't know what y'all doing out here, but <laughs> how did we? Do, how did that collaboration happen with that Diddy yeah. Burger, man? So, <laughs> the Diddy Burger is crazy, man. So my right hand man, Diddy, mm -hmm. uh, he's like, yo, for your birthday, I'm bringing back the Diddy Burger. I'm uh -huh. like, okay, bring it back. Yeah. So he started making it, we was at, um, Shout out to Joe Politics. Mm -hmm. He over there That's at Mojitos. Family. We was at Mojitos and um, I was like, you know what? We just gonna do them over here at Mojitos, you know what I'm saying? He started doing them. Mm -hmm. We ain't stopped since, you know what I'm saying? Ah, like, so that's yeah. where it really went crazy at Mojitos. Yeah, and what I did was, I was like, you know what? Let me create IG for this and get people's reactions, you mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? Just for the marketing and stuff. And you know, now like, you know, you see Bia, you see Millie, yeah. you see Sleepy Hollow today. Um, you just never know who might be in the Diddy Burger. Next, That's you know dope, saying? but I love that marketing plan. And it's yeah. organic. I love that yeah. about your business itself. It grows organically. Yeah. Talk about now that it is going to the space. You're, you used to be a one-man team, but now we're expanding, right? Yeah. Talk about some of that process of building that team of everybody got to eat. I mean, you know, I play basketball. Okay. You know what I'm saying? So, mm -hmm. you know, you got to have point guard. You got to have power forward centers, mm -hmm. people to block the shots. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Like, you know, so... Um, it's, it's tough. It's not easy. Yeah. You know what I'm, saying? Um, I'm pretty sure you guys know. Um, we just had a team meeting. No. <laughs> you know, like everybody got different personalities mm -hmm. and stuff like that. So, um, you know, I just try to take it one day at a time um, and just keep pushing, man. You yeah, know what I'm that's a smart way to move. Yeah. That's an absolutely smart you way. You can't to do move. nothing about it. If it works, it works. If it don't, it don't. I want everybody to win at the end of the day. Um, that's dope. That's it. Now, okay. Now I have to ask. Just I have to get just a smidge toxic. I don't get too toxic. Just a little <laughs> bit. Just a smidge. Um, I have to ask because you've been able to maneuver throughout different regions in this state, in the region of New England altogether. What are some of the hardships you faced? Any type of like red tape or closed doors in your face at all? Mm, I can't remember too many. I know, that's but I'm right. sure. I'm sure there's something, but um, mm. no, I just but we don't focus on I, that. I just. I just try to find a solution to the problem. You know mm, say that one more time for me, the Manny. solution to the problem. You know what I'm saying? I, you know, if, if James would hear, he would know. I'd say, figure it out. Absolutely. You know I mean? So we try to figure it out in every um, situation and just keep pushing. That's actually a word in itself. Like, instead of focusing on the things and the doors that got closed on you, let's find the solutions to get us to where we yeah, need I to mean, go. Yeah, you know, like, I don't like talking too much as far as, like, the problems. Mm -hmm. I want to figure it out. I know, I know that's right. He's been figuring it out, okay? Yeah. <laughs> now, I know you probably got a laundry list of things to tell us when I ask you this next question, but dare I ask, what is in store? What is the the, the future projection for everybody got to eat? To me, man, there ain't no limit. It's I know, like, that's right. Right now, we're shooting um, a pilot for a TV show. Okay. Um, my documentary got played at MIT and Harvard. Don't. Um, I want to revamp that to how I want it. I did it with this organization in my neighborhood called the Art Center. Mm -hmm. I grew up in it. Um, so I learned about video production and stuff like that growing up as a kid. So when they asked me to do the documentary, I was like, cool. You know what I mean? So yeah. it was 14 and 15 year old kids shooting the documentary. Mm -hmm. That's and, um, dope. It was dope. You know what I'm saying? So now that I got the content, mm -hmm. I want to add to that content and, you know, probably rent out a movie theater somewhere Ooh. and let us watch it. But who knows? We'll shop it to the networks, Netflix, That's food shows, fire. whatever, probably. But um, we working, man. Who knows? You might see me on on your next channel. I know that's you know right. The food channel or something like that. You as you should be. As yeah. you should be. I, I'm gonna tell you to your face because I said it about you when I was talking yeah. to your teammate James Lambert the third. Okay. Daughter. Shout out to James Lambert. Man. <laughs> no, y'all. Great host. Y'all found a, a synchronicity that yeah. really works for the city 100. percent But I'm gonna tell you specifically your hustle. Um, your story is inspiring. Um, your work ethic is unmatched. <laughs> you understand me? Thank you, thank you. Every, like I said, you are not at any popping event and not seeing everybody got to eat in their tent and all that dope food that they yeah, have. We, we, we Even though I have no food right now, I'm gonna keep saying. Yeah, nah, that. nah. You know what? I got her. <laughs> he was supposed to we feed me today. He was supposed to feed Yo, me today. Blame, blame <laughs> DJ Double, Sleepy Hollow, and all that, man. E Double, stop taking up all this you man's know, time, man. okay? Hey, you know what's so funny is, I don't think we brought enough. Because he ended up saying he had to chop him down. Oh, wow. Like, chop him in half. Listen. Because, you know, 
The food is too good. The yeah. people want more. The people want more. So, we didn't bring enough today, so we okay. gotta bring more. So um, officially, we need to get some more uh, festivals. I'm telling you now, we need some more festivals from everybody. Got to eat some oh, yeah, more of those bring events. food festivals back. Yeah. The food festival uh, is a dope one. I did one at um, RC. Is that RCC? Was it at RCC? Right there. Um, on um, Tremont? Or was that Tremont? No, Malcolm X Boulevard. <laughs> Yeah, over there. Oh, he's over there. <laughs> over in that um, area. Yeah, yeah, we, yeah, it was dope, man. Yeah. Uh, just to see. Oh, no, what was that? The Reggie Lewis, wasn't Reggie it? Lewis, yeah, exactly. you did at the Reggie Lewis. Yeah, yeah. you see, I'm saying RCC. <laughs> but yeah, it was a dope event mm -hmm. just to see all the entrepreneurs out, people that are really passionate about the food, yeah. and, um, just working, man. And, um, we had a great time. I can't wait to do number two. Um, cross your fingers. I'm looking at some spots. Um, you know, I hope it works out. And we might have him as a special guest for some things that we got going on down the line. We outside, man. We, we outside, outside, baby. I can be there, I'm there. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> That's fire. Yeah. Now, listen, let everybody know if you, I, you literally have to be living under a rock somewhere if you have not heard of Everybody Gotta Eat. But for those who don't know, let them know where they can find you. So, I'm probably in a hood near you. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? No, okay, but, not you physically, but nah, your business. Nah, nah, nah. <laughs> we nah, can't we find are, Manny we physically. We do a lot of pop-ups around the yeah. city. Um, we're, we're everywhere, man. We just try to be outside. Yeah. Um, we're doing catering. So, um, the barbecue season just finished. I just did one last week in Arts in the Park with James P. Oh, yeah. That was dope. Mm -hmm. um, you know, it's always good to be in the community. I love it. It's a family affair with y'all, and yeah. I love that. Yeah. Absolutely. Cambridge, man. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to Cambridge. I love Boston. You know, my sister grew up on this side, so I'm not a parent. Wait, so before like, I let, before we sign yeah. out and do all that stuff, though, I got to have a quick conversation about you, about that with you, yeah. all right? So be, you being from Cambridge, you rep Cambridge heavy, right? I have to. You have no choice, I'm right? Saying. Now, yeah. because you are heavy also in Boston, do you feel like you, there's a uh, something you have to, like, make known? Like, I'm not from Boston, I'm from Cambridge? Because, I mean, you know, Millie's always catches that, that yeah. flack all the time. I mean, I rep Cambridge to... You know, to the depth. Mm -hmm. To me, like I don't care about that stuff. Okay. But I gotta let it be known where I'm from. You Absolutely. Know what I'm uh, you know, I don't want people to be like, oh, he's saying he's from Boston. No, I'm from Cambridge. Yeah, you that's know, real. That's that. real. And I read Cambridge to the depth. You know? And at the end of the day, they both six one seven. So what are we talking about? What are we really talking about? But you know what I mean? Like I, I get it. You know what I mean? People are like, yo, Boston's shootouts everywhere. Like I'm glad I'm from Cambridge. Hey, yo, wait a minute. You're not gonna like, come from Boston <laughs> like that, Manny. <laughs> I'm just saying, like, no, that's you know real. what I mean? Like that's it's real. real out here. Yeah. You know what I mean, like, um, and. When I run into people from Boston that are going through it and stuff like that, I'm like, yo, move, bro. No, that's like, real. Go move to Quincy. Go move mm -hmm. to Reading. I don't care. Just, just get out of it. Remove man. yourself from that mm -hmm. and figure it out. You that's me? real. Go get a job somewhere. They ain't gonna find you in West Reading. You know <laughs> they can't like, find you. You know what I'm saying? Like, get away. Yeah. You know what I mean? But it's tough. You know what I'm saying? Um, it is. A lot it of is. peer pressure and stuff like that. But um, All know. right. So I thought I was going to do the whole sign out, but I do have one last question because I feel like I would like for you to talk to the young entrepreneurs out there, the, the younger you, so to speak, Manny. Um, somebody that might not have had that epiphany moment just yet. What mm. pieces of advice would you be able to give them? I would just say to follow your heart. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Um, really think about what you're passionate about. You know what I'm saying? And yeah. Just try to figure out a way to make some money off that. Because not everybody's going to make it rapping. Mm -hmm. Not everybody's going to make it cooking. Right. You know, like... I was doing the cooking stuff in the kitchen mm -hmm. at one point, and um, I don't mind doing it with my team, but doing it for something else wasn't for me. Yeah, you know okay, saying? that's and real. I was like, now with my team, I'm in there all day, I don't care, you mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? But if I'm gonna be slaving, I'll slave for myself. <laughs> I'm gonna like, cook for me. Like, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. But um, you know, some people like the rush, it's a rush and stuff like that. Um, you gotta be able to handle that kitchen when that rush comes. Like, yeah. you know, you got 300 people outside. I had to learn that lesson like, for myself. Oh I my went to Lord. culinary school thinking I wanted to be a professional yeah. chef and realized, nope, I just like to cook for my family. Yeah. <laughs> I don't wanna be yeah, in no kitchen. I don't wanna do it. Fast. But yeah, it's really important to figure yeah. out your lane and your passion, right? And 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 hone hon hon yeah. in on what you care about. Well, it's not always easy. You know, it it's took not. me a lot of time to get back to the food, you know? Yeah. You know? But I think everything happens for a reason. Absolutely. Listen, yeah. you heard it here first, right here from Manny. Now, I'm gonna drop your socials since you ain't trying to drop them. Let them yeah, know. Yeah. <laughs> everybody gotta eat, all one yeah, word, everybody right? Everybody gotta underscore eat. And that's on Instagram? On, Instagram, on yeah. Facebook and Twitter? On all that. All everybody of them. Eat. You see, you'll see the logo. I don't got it on today, but you, <laughs> actually, I got it on the... Oh, but we can't mess with the sound, yeah. but we'll show it off yeah. later. <laughs> we'll show it off later. So make sure you follow that brand. Make sure you follow this man and everything he's got going on. His hand 
hands are everywhere. You understand me? And I love that for you. I appreciate y'all, man. Keep building, keep being dope. Thank you. Keep doing what y'all doing. I see y'all everywhere. I mean, saying? that's because, like, listen, we're trying to get like you. <laughs> what was that, Spark FM joint? Yeah, and we love you collaborating. Know, y'all always support me, so I appreciate that. Um, Thank you. And know, that's what it's all about. Everybody supporting each other. And Absolutely. Building each other up, you know what I'm saying? We got to be the change we want to yeah. see out here. Yeah, we got to be That's what it. I try to lead by example. I post everybody's stuff. Oh, I don't care, right. you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. It's not that serious. It's you know really like, not. You know what I mean? People like, be over here with hurt throw, feelings. I throw a fire emoji under anybody's stuff. Like, I see nobody doing it, I'll do it. You know Thank what I'm saying? You. Just cause, you know Thank what I'm saying? You. So it ain't that serious. We've been outside doing this for a long time. You know, we just gonna keep pushing. Perfect, perfect. Listen, I could talk to you all day, Manny, yeah, okay? Me too. <laughs> I'm having fun up here. And look, I'm glad to hear that. Tell your people on Zim, yeah. all right? Tell them that. <laughs> nah, <laughs> makes... Hold on, I got some questions. Oh, for no, see, why people always want to switch it up and ask me questions? No, now. I'm just saying because, you know, you got to get interviewed sometimes. Okay, what's how'd up? You, how'd you get started? Honestly, a pivotal moment happened in my life, too, where I had to get a reality check. I got divorced after mm. an 11 years uh, relationship. Your relationships and, are tough. Whew, they, they give you real reality checks. Yeah. So I had to sit with myself and talk about that. Not talk about, but think about what you was just saying. Like, what is it? Because I had spent 11 years being a missus. Mm-hmm. So I had an identity that always included somebody else. Yeah. But now, separating from that person, it was like, all right, who am I? What do I want to do? What do I want to work towards? And this voice, God gave it to me. <laughs> so, and could nobody take it away. Um, I had... I think it was DJ Dex. Shout out to DJ Dex. Uh, <laughs> the homie DJ he liked Dex. The, he liked the Diddy Burger. Yes, yeah. I know. He's definitely a He's big a fan of the, guy, the Diddy guy, Burger. Guy, um, he let me come up to the roadblock one day on 88.5 FM. And I got on there and started just being me. It wasn't even anything where I was like doing a script or anything. I was just being myself. And the people ate it up to the point where the owner of the station calls in on the line while we're on the show like, oh, no. We're hiring you. You're you're officially a part of Big City oh, FM. So shout out to Rich Dollars. Shout out to Big City and DJ Dex. I will always show love to y'all for giving me my opportunity. And then also I have to jump on over to Miss Hot Sauce because then she took the ball and rolled yeah. with it and really Hot put me into it. No she don't play no Hot games, Sox. man. <laughs> so that's what got me here. Just really finding my niche and my purpose. That's literally well, I mean, it. I think you're doing great. Thank you sound you. like you sound and move like a. Which, which you say you are. You Thank know what you. I'm <laughs> Thank um, you. Like, keep pushing, keep grinding. You know, I see you doing big things. You know? Don't make me cheese right now, Manny. No, all right. No. And shout out to my team inside the base because without them, I would never even be no, been catapulted to this point to this space. All about so. your team, man. Yeah, you know, for sure. You know, pushing you, grind. You know, grinding. <sighs> That's what we all about. Yeah. Now listen, if you were looking for me after all that good stuff, I'm all cheesing now. <laughs> Make sure yeah. you follow me, Ms. Mofilla, on everything. Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. Make sure you follow my website, Ms. Mofilla.com. And while you're at it, make sure you follow Inside the Maze on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. Make sure you like, follow, and subscribe, and hit that little notification bell down at the bottom so you can keep track of all the stuff we do over here, man. It's the Critical Breakdown, Inside the Maze. Manny from Everybody Gotta Eat, man. This is Mofilla. Peace out. Thank you.